The scourge of domestic violence is a growing problem in societies the world over, and the custody battle depicted in the outstanding French film, Custody, will unfortunately be familiar to many Australians. The first feature by former child actor Xavier Legrand, the film is straightforward, economical, brilliantly acted, thought-provoking, and towards the end, nail-bitingly suspenseful. It's a must-see for lovers of cinema, and in addition, it has something of vital importance to say about the society in which we live today. The film opens with a scene in which Miriam, Lea Drucker, and her ex-husband, Antoine, Denis Menochet, are being questioned by a judge, Sadia Benteib, over the custody of their 12-year-old son, Julian, Thomas Gioria. Their daughter, Josephine, Mathilde Onover, is almost 18, and therefore she's able to make up her own mind as to whether or not she wants to contact her father. Julian has, as required by the court, put his opinion in the matter in writing. He wants nothing to do with his father. The judge, an impartial decision-maker, listens carefully to both sides of the argument, and the audience at this early stage of the film is also impartial. We hear Miriam's stories concerning her former husband's harassment and violence towards her, and her passionate request that Julian not be forced to see him. On the other hand, we hear the calm, rational, and even rather charming Antoine demand the rights of a father to have regular contact with his son. The judge determines that Antoine be allowed weekend access to the boy, which seems on the surface a fair and reasonable judgment. But that is before we see the steps Miriam has taken to keep the location of her present residence a secret from her husband, and we start to realise just how much she fears him. In keeping with the court order, Antoine collects his son from the home of his maternal grandparents and takes him back to his apartment, where he badges the boy, demanding that he reveal the whereabouts of his mother. And now we realise just how dangerous and fanatical Antoine really is. Legrand, who, as a child, portrayed one of the schoolchildren in Louis Mal's World War II drama Au Revoir les Enfants in 1987, previously made an Oscar-nominated short film just before losing everything, which I haven't seen, but which reportedly features the same actors in a kind of prequel to the current film. He's clearly a master at creating tension with the simplest of ingredients. As a case in point, there's a marvellous scene of a party taking place in a hired hall to celebrate Josephine's birthday. While she entertains family and friends by singing Rolling on a River, the viewer is unnerved and alert to the fact that Antoine may have gatecrashed the event and may be lurking somewhere in the crowd, planning something terrible. As previously noted, all the actors are very good, but Denis Minochet's Antoine is exceptional. He conveys with alarming conviction the increasingly violent emotions that are gradually taking over this isolated and vengeful man. And young Thomas Gioria is also outstanding as the boy, who is deathly afraid of his father. As it proceeds, custody looks as though it might become a full-on horror movie. It's already a kind of horror film, but Legrand never crosses over into the -the over-the-top Hollywood-style mayhem. The events that unfold in this brilliant and troubling movie are all too real. Mysteriously rejected by the Cannes Film Festival last year, the film competed in Venice where it deservedly won two major awards for Best Director and Best First Feature. I realise I may have made it sound grim, but it's one of the best films released in Australian cinemas this year. I'm giving Custody four and a half stars. (laughs) 